As Georgia gets back to work, there is one thing employees and customers need now more than ever, face masks. CBS 46's Carolyn Ryan is in Lawrenceville tonight where one company is stepping up to meet demand. This company went from manufacturing plastic surgery products to face masks in a matter of days and they made the quick switch with a little help from Congressman Doug Collins. I'm working hard here. How are you? Congressman Doug Collins, who represents Georgia's 9th district, tours this Lawrenceville plant Wednesday afternoon. So how many can come off in an hour? After he helped expedite an FDA emergency use authorization. When the world changed, we changed. For the company to pivot from making surgical products to making reusable antibacterial face masks. So it's an evolving process, and that's the, the beauty of, of free enterprise. That's the beauty of business is saying, let's take a, a, like Marina, who says, let's take a product that we know we can make, keep people employed, and then anticipate the next need. Because right now in hair salons and beauty salons, as they open up, as businesses open back up over the next few weeks and months all over the country, they're going to need this equipment. Tony Caprella can attest to that. Pretty busy. He's a manager for a company that makes pork rinds. We've made it mandatory company-wide to Everybody has to wear a mask. With 800 employees across the country, they're placing huge orders. Each one of our employees actually, um, they've been issued at least four to five masks. The Morena Group helping meet the increased demand. All made right here in Georgia. Franking out 80,000 medical grade masks a week. And it's just taken off like wildfire for us. A number they say they'll double by next week. It's a win, win, win all the way around. And I spoke with Congressman Collins one on one after today's tour, asking him a wide range of questions. We'll get that posted on CBS 46.com.